it seems like many of us think we only have one of two choices. And this holiday season, I want to give you an alternate option. The two choices we think we have are one, I am have to deprive myself, starve, work out in the gym, and suffer to be in a body that is socially acceptable and that meets the standards of our culture. One choice, crappy. Second choice is screw that. It's too hard. It sucks. I don't love the body I'm in, but I'm just going to deal with it because this option isn't great. And even though I don't love how I feel, what choice do I have? Right? It sucks. Either way, it sucks. What I want to offer to you, I don't know where to look on my iPad, which is really annoying to me. What I want to offer to you, I can figure out where the camera is. There it is. What I want to offer to you is the third choice, which is neither of those. They are both unacceptable to me. The third choice is, what do you want? What do you really want? So much of the time, we don't choose the, I want to love the body I'm in option because we think that it comes with the bullshit. So we don't even bother choosing it. And what I want to offer to you is what if that's not true? What if you get to feel and look amazing in your body at any age without suffering? I got to tell you, I suffered way more in my 20s and 30s and 40s, early 40s, when I was 40 pounds heavier and felt like shit the majority of the time than I do now. Now I'm 50 and everything that I do to be lean and strong is so much easier than the suffering that I felt in a body that didn't feel good, fighting with food, beating myself for self up for what I ate or didn't eat. I don't want any of that. So what I want to gift to you is that there is another choice, but you're just not being told what it is. And that's what I am doing. Because once you realize that once the body, the cells of your body are fed, the natural human diet, what they evolve to eat. There's 60 billion cells in your body and they are meant to consume certain foods for millions of years. Once you feed that, those cells, your body stops asking for food. It stops yammering on all the damn time. And then when it does come up, because we're in a world surrounded by delicious, hyper palatable, super yummy, processed, sugary, delightful foods. They're everywhere, 24 seven. That's not going to change. But when your body's fed and you encounter a donut or a cookie or some chips or some french fries, you can stop for a second and take a beat and go, huh, that looks good. I really want that. Why do I want it? Well, I'm fed. First question, nourished, not just calories with crap, but real food that feeds your cells, protein, vitamins, minerals, healthy fats. That's all the body needs, water, sun, right? So why do I want it? You get to stop and ask the question. Is it just because it tastes good? Maybe, but if that was all you really wanted was to taste something, you'd taste it and move on. We don't want just a bite of a French fry. We want the whole damn pile. We don't just want a bite of a cookie. We want half the bag. That's the why. That's the curiosity. Why? What is it that you are, what need do you have that you're trying to satisfy? That's the question. Because let me tell you, we have needs. 
and they are not satisfied. They aren't. And we're trying to satisfy deep needs with food. That's not food's job. Food's job is to satisfy our body. And let me tell you, flour and sugar and oil and junk does not satisfy your body, period. It satisfies an urge, a craving, but it doesn't even fully satisfy it because then you want more, right? If it really satisfied it, you'd have a cookie, you'd never want a cookie again. Your brain can never be satisfied by food. It's not food's job. Food's job is to satisfy your body. Those foods, your body doesn't want. So once we get that, once we get the difference between what I call strong food and fun food, those are the terms that I came up with with my kids years ago, and now I use them with myself and my clients. Have the fun food, but make sure your body's strong first and then acknowledge it's fun. Yeah, I love chocolate and cookies and cake, and potato chips and french fries and martinis and margaritas and wine. It's all crap. It is all crap. It's fun. My brain likes it. My body does not need it. So I let my brain have a little fun from time to time, but I decide how much is enough, just like I do with my kids. Just like I decide how much TV they can have and how much sleep they need and how much sugar they get. I decide that for myself. I care for myself just the way I care for my children. And it feels good to take care of yourself and it builds trust that you can count on yourself and that you're okay. I could talk about this all day long. I'm already at seven minutes. So what I wanna to offer to you is that you don't have to decide between struggle and deprivation and disliking your body. There's another choice. No one's talking about it. And I wanna talk about it. I wanna tell you about it. If you have any questions, if you wanna work with me, if you want me to tell you other options than me, and you wanna work with somebody else, there's not really anyone who does exactly what I do, but there are people that are close. And if you wanna work with them, that's great. I just want you to get the help that you need so that you're not in this ping pong match with yourself between crappy option one and crappy option two. It's no way to live. I plan to live to be 100. I got 50 more years. I am gonna make them good. I want you to also, if that's what you want. You get to want it though. Talk to you later. Happy holidays.